Pretty morning. Morning. It's a cold one. We're out here at my nemesis lake trying to get some Lakers. This lake is tough. So um, it's still pretty early ice. Uh, I was checking my way out. We're looking at about eight to 10 inches, about like that. So brought the old bear cat out this morning. Uh, it was negative 10 when I left my house, about negative one-ish when I got to the parking lot here but kind of creep my way across this lake slowly and uh checking my way as i went because i haven't been on it yet this season so but we seem to be good to go ice is forming for sure it's already cracking and creaking but yeah just got some holes drilled so this is another area i mapped out last season um i'm fishing at about 72 ish feet and it drops off that way behind me kind of comes up so we're gonna give it a go right here let's see here it says we're at 73 73 feet yeah Lights up in here. Can get the heater going, get set up, rock and roll. Yeah, get unloaded. Oh, yeah. Pretty much set up. Get the poles going here. I got a lot of bait or something swimming by already, so that's a good sign. I'm um, excited to use this new pole I got. Got the uh, Jason Mitchell Elite Mac. It's a medium heavy, 40 inch. Um, it's super stout. Got a nice big long handle on it. Like just real like real stiff. I like it. And I got a Okuma C40 reel on here. I'm trying out this new ice braid as well. Um, the 832 ice braid. So it's a 20 pound, and I got a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader with a uni knot tied to it. So we'll see how she goes. I am gonna run two poles for now. I'm gonna set up a dead stick out here off this shelf here in a little bit once it maybe gets a little bit lighter. But once I get set up, yeah, we're gonna drop down and see what happens here. this Kodiak Custom. It's got like silver sparkle. Then I got the little LED slip. You can like, it's like slips on the line. But uh, I'm just gonna run it right on the jig. It's been about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Had a couple pretty good marks. It's 8.10. It's pretty dark still. Got about an hour plus still till it's even light, so. I just wanted to get out here nice and early, set up for the first time this season. Um, yeah, not too bad so far. This pole feels pretty good. I'm digging it. It's only like 60 bucks, Sportsman's Warehouse. But yeah, like I said, it's got a really nice, like, real nice backbone to it. So, yeah, we'll see. If you watch my uh, Lake Louise video, See one of my little HT rods snapped when I did the old hook set. So I'll pick up another another Laker rod. Kind of fishing off this like little point. It comes out and uh, drops kind of off on both sides. So I guess more so like a spine. But um, I always mark fish out here. I've had some good bites here and there but I have yet to get one through the ice 
on this particular lake. It's pretty tough. Um, me and Matthew a couple seasons ago caught, like a, I caught a 30 inch laker and then uh, Matthew got a super nice char. He ended up getting the fish and game uh, youth trophy certificate. So it was a 28 inch char. And then they posted him in the fishing rigs picture of us holding it. So it's really cool. So yeah, if you got some kids out there, make sure to check out those youth uh, trophy certificates if you get some bigger fish because the sizes are substantially lower than for like adults. So it's kind of cool. They sent him a, like a patch and a little certificate and like the whole shebang. It was, he was all jazzed about it. So super cool. This ice is loud today. It's always so creepy. Boom, boom, shooting through. It, uh, where I drove my snow machine here around the corner to like find this spot when I had the GPS up. Um, after I stopped, a new crack shot out and uh, I could see like water coming. Kind of kind of freaked me out for a second. That was after I drilled a hole and I already knew it was almost 10 inches though. So, but still. It wasn't a very good feeling, so I kind of backed away and set off a little bit from, those, from that crack. But ice does some crazy stuff when it's first forming, so always be careful, especially early ice. And this is a big lake, it's real deep, so it takes a little longer to get super frozen. Got a little Jimmy Dean breakfast, breakfast bowl. I'm gonna kind of make like a little aluminum foil bowl. Put it on the old heater buddy. Oh, baby. Uh, there we go. That's gotta be a leaker. Heck yeah. Feels pretty good. See if I can keep him pinned. Whoo! <laughs> I'm all fired up. Uh, this is my first like real hook on um, in this lake. Oh yeah, it's a 
Mike Trout. Heck yeah. Uh, there he is. Oh baby. Right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Yes sir. Laker baby oh yeah That's what I'm talking about give a little drink of water oh yeah that's awesome I'll try to get this back in the water as quick as I can Keep these fish healthy. Just threw a little tape on it. Like 29 on the dot. Oh yeah. That is awesome. We're gonna let it go. I'm gonna let this baby go. Be good to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That was awesome. First laker through the ice in this lake. Using the old Kodiak Custom, baby, chartreuse. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Clayton Chick, baby, check him out if you haven't. Well, that was exciting. Um, it's always fun when you get a laker on the end of your line. Especially on a lake that you've been trying a lot at. So that was cool. So that was a nice, healthy lake trout. Um, I did a quick tape on the mat here just to see it was right at about 29 so it was super chunky um yeah the thing ripped off out the hole no problem so anyways i just had a couple of good marks too so it's about 9 15 um prime time right after sunrise Let's see if we can get another one maybe but i'm already happy it's already been a successful trip i've come to this lake so many times i've been skunked so, I'm stoked. <laughs> that mark showed up out of nowhere and all over the bottom of the screen. So, he didn't hit the pole I was kind of playing with him on, but he hit my one. It was dead sticked right off the bottom. That LED light blank blanking on top. Um, I tried it when I dead stick him. I tried to dead stick literally like I hit the mud and I tried to pull it up just an inch or two right up off the bottom. All right, just switch it up a little bit. <clears throat> Still marking like crazy. I don't know if it's like a bunch of little bait fish down there or what, but they're super deep. They're at like 60, 70 feet. They're all over the place, but anyways. Threw the uh, trusty white tube jig on. And I got some, uh, it's like chartreuse um, paint stuff. It's called Spike It like dip tubes in it and it'll like permanently color them um, I found it off another fishing channel I really like to watch it does really good on lake trout but yeah I ordered it and you can get like ooh, that was a big crack you can get white orange or sorry you can get chartreuse orange uh, red blue I've got like this whole mixed pack and then I bought a bottle of just the chartreuse but it kind of like bleeds into the white tube jigs really good. That was what both the big Lakers were caught on at uh, Lake Louise on my last trip that my buddy got. He was uh, using my tube jig. <laughs> Crushing him on that. But anyways, I don't know. You can't use bait in this lake, so it makes it a little more difficult. I'll try to entice them to bite. Man, this mark just came out of nowhere. I was cleaning up and hit me hard. Uh, missed, the, missed the hook set. Come on, where'd he go? It's gotta be a leaker. 
came in like super aggressive. Let's see if we get him to come back. Darn. He hit it as I was reeling up too. That was pretty cool. Caught me off guard. I was just about to turn off the transducer too. <laughs> Literally. I was like wrapping everything up. Saw this mark come in and it shot straight down. And he was all over me. All right, well, it's about 11 o'clock. Had some good marks here and there. Trying to switch stuff up a little bit, but I don't know, kind of died. So I'm gonna call it a win today with that one nice Laker. See, so yeah, I'm gonna pack up all my gear, jump on the old Bearcat and get back to the truck. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. Hope to catch you on the next adventure.